Hello, I'm Nick Poulin, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at a rare Burgess folding slide action shotgun with an original holster. Andrew Burgess was most well known for his lever action repeaters that he partnered with Eli Whitney to produce in 1872. However, perhaps one of his most innovative and quite frankly coolest firearms that he produced was one of his final designs, the Burgess folding gun. In 1871, Burgess began his venture into firearms development with two patented conversions for Peabody and Wernell single shot breech loaders into side mounted magazine repeaters at his workshop located in Owego, New York. After displaying his firearm innovations at the Philadelphia Centennial Exposition, he began working with Eli Whitney developing magazine rifles and entered two of his designs in an 1878 military trial. After a disagreement involving his patents with the Whitney Arms Company, Burgess went to work on the Marlin 1881, Colt Burgess 1883, and Kennedy rifles until 1885. A few years later, in 1893, Burgess established the Burgess Gun Company in Buffalo, New York. The Burgess Folding Gun utilizes a unique pistol grip slide assembly that pulls the pistol grip handle and trigger over the stock wrist. The initial designs that were produced with the slide action featured a unique takedown rifle and shotgun that was advanced for its day, allowing for easy disassembly and storage. Burgess realized that his unique slide action design offered further potential due to the manner the mechanism operated at the rear of the receiver rather than the more conventional slide actions with a sliding forearm. He adapted his takedown design into a unique quick draw folder by adapting a hinge to the bottom forward portion of the receiver. The impressive feature captured the interest of Theodore Roosevelt, who ordered 100 of the guns for the New York penal system. The story goes that the salesman for Burgess loaded one of the six shot repeaters with blanks under his jacket. When he entered the meeting with Roosevelt, he proceeded to draw the concealed shotgun from the holster concealed under his coat and in a quick fluid manner proceeded to empty the repeater towards the ceiling. The folding shotgun variation of the Burgess Gun Company's repeating shotgun was marketed as being adapted for use by police service, express messengers, U.S. Marshals, prisons, and banks. It was reported that legendary Western lawman Pat Garrett was carrying his Burgess folding shotgun when he was gunned down in 1908. The folding shotgun was capable of folding together to shorten the gun to the length of the barrel to be carried in a holster with a belt. The six shot repeater could be drawn from the holster and shot six times in three seconds. It was available in Damascus barrels for $40, a steel barrel variation for $30, and you could purchase a russet leather holster for an additional $1.50. The weight of the gun was advertised as five to six and a half pounds and offered in two barrel lengths of 19 and 20 inches. This interesting Burgess folding slide action shotgun that we're looking at here today is one of the 20 inch steel barreled variations. It weighs in at six and a half pounds. It has blued finish and the floor plate has a three line patent marking ending in the date of August 21st, 92. It is fitted with a straight grip walnut stock with Burgess marked hard rubber butt plate. The steel slide sleeve has a checkered gripping surface with an attached checkered walnut pistol grip. The steel capped forearm has wrap around checkering. It is accompanied by an original russet leather quick draw belt holster and also with a copy of the Burgess folding gun instructions in Priceless dated 1895. The condition of this antique shotgun rates very fine, with a strong amount of original blue finish showing minor carry wear. The original stock is very fine, showing scattered mild handling marks, and it has a bright bore with sound mechanics. The Burgess Gun Company continued to manufacture firearms until it was purchased by Winchester in 1899. Ultimately, the firearms the Burgess Gun Company produced were not continued by Winchester, however many of his patents are still used today. 
If you like this video and want to learn more about quality, collectible, and unique antique firearms, then visit our website at PoolinAuctions.com. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, stay safe, and send it downrange.